Welcome back. Today what we're going to do is that we are going to discuss some behaviors and one of the most important behavior that is the fluid movement behavior. On my screen you can see a few buttons. Number one is the add circle, number two is the remove circle. I have a stack panel here and what I'm doing is that I'm just adding circles dynamically by add circle and removing them by my click event that is remove circles. Let me run this so you have an idea what I'm actually doing. So here's my screen. I add some circles, then I remove some circles. So here you see the things are happening quite quick and they're not having a fluid movement in it. For example, whenever I remove a circle or add a circle, what happen is that it just add come appears on the screen within an instance without any animation so let's see how we can apply some fluid animations in it for that I've just moved to assets tab and I would use the behavior from here and the behavior I'm going to use is the fluid move behavior I've just drag the behavior and drop it on the pan 1 so now I have dropped it here I will just go to the properties in the properties there is duration so duration 0. Point, so set the duration to 0, 02 and uh, as I have a stack panel that is having orientation that is horizontal in, so what I'm going to do is that I will use ease x to be uh, I believe bounce out so with bounce out what would happen is sorry let's circle out here's bounce out so bounce out what would happen is that whenever I would remove the circle it would go back with the animation but it won't happen whenever I'm adding a circle you can use some other f easing functions or you may not use any of the easing functions just use the duration so that it comes with a delay and it's seems that there is an animation that is working so the last and most important thing is the common under the common tab you have a property that is applies to I want it to apply to the children as well as I am adding children to the stack panel so there you go let's run it and let's see what happens here we are add a circle But when I remove a circle, you would see a fluid animation. So there you see, you see a nice fluid movement, and uh, that is why it is named as fluid move behavior. So try that in your applications to create some fluid movements. And uh, thank you for today, and I hope. You enjoyed the tutorial, the tip, and uh, stay in touch for the next time. And if you have any questions, do post under the blog post or under the video as well. Thank you so much.